What's up, y'all? Jeremy here, and you know what I'm about to do. Talk about my favorite color, obviously. Is it anyone else's favorite color? I think so. But actually, I'm here to flex some tech. New processors, baby. AMD has achieved more density, better thermal management, and better connectivity with the Hybrid Bond 3D, better known as the AMD 3D VCache. AMD 3D VCache allows them to fit a ton of wires, a ton of data, a ton of bandwidth, and cache space into a very small area. They've slimmed down the Zen 3 chip to a smaller dimension, which then allowed them to integrate the new AMD 3D VCache on top of the Zen 3 chip. The die thinning of the Zen 3 chips makes room for the 64 megabytes of L3 cache to be on top without having to impede upon the space needed for the heat spreaders and the CPU cooler that will be installed on the CPU. The overall height of the AMD 3D VCache CPUs match that of the original Zen 3s, so there's no compromise to the added power. Die thinning and hybrid bond 3D are the two key factors in AMD's 3D VCache. All right, to give you a little bit more detail of the actual processors that we have here in studio, we have the AMD Ryzen 9 7900 X3D with 12 cores, 24 threads, and a base clock of 4.4 gigahertz and a max boost clock up to 5.6 gigahertz. The L1 cache is 768 kilobytes. L2 cache is 12 megabytes. L3 cache is 128 megabytes with a TDP of 120 watts and integrated Radeon graphics, boosting out a graphics frequency of 2200 megahertz. The other processor that we have here in studio is the AMD Ryzen 9 7950X3D. It's got 16 cores, 32 threads, with a base clock of 4.2 gigahertz and a max boost clock of up to 5.7 gigahertz. The L1 cache is one megabyte, the L2 cache is 16 megabytes, as well as the L3 cache is also 16 megabytes. It features a TDP of 120 watts with integrated Radeon graphics, giving you a frequency of 2200 megahertz. So why is this a big deal? You know why this is a big deal, which then makes it an even bigger deal. This is the first time AMD offers VCache with the Ryzen 9 processor. So now enthusiasts will be able to harness the ultimate gaming performance and creative performance all in one processor. It's a straightforward upgrade with the advanced AM5 platform. And AM5 motherboards come with BIOS flash feature. So you don't even have to worry about BIOS compatibility. All right, now let's go over the benchmarks for this brand new X3D lineup. For starters, you got the 7800X3D, which has a 4.2 gigahertz base clock and a 5.0 gigahertz boost clock. And then you have the 7900X3D, which has a 4.4 base clock and a 5.6 gigahertz boost clock. And last, and certainly not least, you got the 7950X3D, which has a 4.2 gigahertz base clock and a 5.7 gigahertz boost clock. All right, y'all, we done flex the tech. But now it's your turn to click the links in the description below to get your hands on one of these brand new AMD X3D processors. Trust me, you wanna hurry because they're gonna go fast. See what I did there? You, did, you didn't see? Fast. Never get my jokes.